Alright, what's up guys? So, basically I'm playing, um, Fazbear Tycoon, and, yeah. This is what I'm here. Alright, so, I already know the password, because I just started, I'm just trying to play it. And I search, and I put some random research into it, and yeah, there's, and well, there's the password. And now we're here. This is basically a game, nothing else. Alright, so, new info. Welcome to Fazbear Entertainment, Security Archive. Also, uh -huh, the purpose of this program is to record and archive incidents. Alright. Documented email. Let's see this. Hmm. Hey, hey, dude. How are you? Thanks again for taking the night shift. I know that place can get pretty spooky. Oh, by the way, finally figured out a name for our title. Our little monster. Raven calling him Springtrap. Pretty cool, right? It looks... It took like two seconds to make a name, but it's fitting. Don't you think, anyways? Anyway, about what you said in your last email. Thanks for letting us know. If you can, could, if you can, could you get some footage of him walking around? We were thinking we could set up screens around the attraction and fool people into thinking that Springtrap is coming towards them. To raise the spook factor. You know, anyway, you have nothing to be worried about. You and I are on are the only ones with the keys to the place. So there is no way he is getting out. We are still setting the place up, so there are a lot of lo loose wires hanging around. And Springtrap is quite broken look looking himself, so could you make sure he doesn't go damaging and equipment it's like i told you the the other day fire is a real c concern here so we gotta be careful careful if you don't have any idea how to stop our little monster one of the tech guys said that those animatronics would go to the room with the most noise so if he goes wandering into somewhere he shouldn't be he shouldn't be just use the audio system to lure him somewhere else thanks see you uh, on the flip side redacted mm -hmm. so this is spring trapper here oh my god bro all right this kind of looks pretty realistic actually oh all right i can see his guts this is this is pretty unsettling as there is there is the meat jaw right there um the teeth are pretty big, they look pretty realistic. I wonder why. Ooh, there's the ribcage. Oh, fuck yeah, I should probably get out of this. Alright. Missing individuals. What the fuck? I wonder what this is about. Missing individuals. Hold up, bro. I'm gonna put some research into that too. Hold up. I'm gonna go on YouTube. I already know the person that I'm going to shout out just for just for the actual help. Oh, well, he didn't help me do it. I just searched his video and yeah. Let me see here. I'm going to start shortly again, right? Faz. Fazer. Oh, fuck. Frick. Alright, Fa. There. Alright, this is pretty creepy. Uh, alright, so. Alright, okay, this is pretty creepy. On the 13th of September two, 2026, a team of independent film filmmakers were reported missing in Hurricane Utah. After a week's absence from their college classes, shortly after the city PD launched an investigation to locate after a week of absence. The missing students at the time of their disappearance. Courtney redacted, Kevin redacted, and Inger redacted. We're all we're all working on an assignment based upon investigating and proving valid valid validity validity whatever to the main miss and urban legends of the state Utah with their particular entrance interest in the urban legend known as the Utah Her Harmon 
with Kevin redacted final journal er, entry standing in the internet to film documentary the Christmas hurricane force uh, Harmon their bodies have yet to be recovered or so I don't think this is a freaking game kind of you know but like talking about some random freaking lore description of the Utah Herman match of him HM. Six weeks after the Intel incident is Intel incident, a sewer maintenance worker assigned to unlock unblock a drainage pipe, a drainage pipe, recovered a sewer hand DNA analyze, analyzes or whatever of the hand. The hand was that of Courtney redacted it can only be assumed that three missing persons are dead the maintenance worker are also located a heavily damaged disposal camera belonging to Kevin redacted those the photographs were difficult to recover through say of the art data recovery methods one image was restored what is it? it's him he survived the fire and has been out there all of this time hunting claiming more souls and destroying more lives. I should have known it was him as soon as I heard about this Utah hair man thing. People say those boys were lost to the storm, but they're wrong. I'm one of the only people, maybe the only person, who bears the curse of knowing the truth. The man who found the hand said that the only way it could have gotten there is if somebody placed it there, deliberately. And he's right. He is taunting me. Even after so long, he knows I'm watching. I need to stop him. I know where he is. And he doesn't have the backing he used to. I have the advantage. I missed my opportunity back in 85. I'm not missing it again. Okay, that was pretty, that was pretty, that was pretty interesting, I guess. Um, damn. Dang, bro, um. Okay. Wow. Um, figure sighting. Alright, yeah, I think some of these. Alright, hold on. Which one? Alright, so. Now, figure sighting. Hold on, bro. So. Eject, right? Is that the password? Yeah, it's eject. Eject. What the fuck? Alright, figure sighting. Oh wait, oh wait, you probably uh, put it in. Alright, eject. There we go. That's good. Art. Oh, okay. Um. This is a random drawing, at least. At least it's nothing here. I'll see nothing here. Oh, but this looks freaking terrifying. Alright, a large disfigured. Uh. Frick. Oh, where's my number one thing? Hold on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You already know what it is. You already know the vibe. Oh, I do not know what I'm doing, so please help me. What the frick am I doing, my guy? Ah. <laughs> I have to go.
in 1250. The individual that reported the creature was close enough to give me minor details of what it had looked like. They described that it appeared to constant rusty wires and a loosey loosely alright put together outer cat casing using lots of broken items and junk for bulking on the arms and torso. It had it had looked similar to a bear. That's freaking funny, my guy. It appeared to have an arm on both of its of its torsos, along with two more attached to the back of the creature. One resembled the front of an excavator, but with sharp, rusty spikes on it. The other appending was hidden behind the creatures. It was just a creature. So I don't know what was on it. The person stated on that the collection of parts con holes or whatever and started writing at random moments, specifically when looking directly directly at lights. It also intimidated her or is or whatever it is, scrapping and squeaking noises as it moved around the witness. Didn't see the bottom half of the creature behind the piles of rubbish. The person that reported the entity managed to go undetected by the creature leaving us clueless at the weather. It is hostile or not. Oh, there's two pages. All right, let's read this. Or update. A new sighting of uh, this is the fit creature has been reported and redacted. Utah, the witness, is questioning was able to give a slightly more re de detailed report as he attacked by he was attacked by the creature. It was big, humongous, big chungus. <laughs> Even I was looking for the parts that could be of use in a project. I was working on my college made an assignment to make a piece of art made out of junk, huh? Oh yeah, back to the point. I was looking for the parts when I found the strange pile of junk poking out of a... Poking out of a what? A junk heap of Mary. All right. It was a bunch of items wrapped in chains, kitchen utensils, gears. Some some of it was just bent piece, bent pieces of metal. There were even parts of it, of a small doll inside of it. I reached out and tried to pull it out. There was a screech and junk heap began to move. What I saw was just another trash pile it turned out to be the back of that thing. It turned around and I was you now starting sta no, staring into the eyes of a metal face that can only be described as something straight out of a horror film. The teeth made blades portions of its face built out of bent me metal cold yellow eyes. I was staring into the face of a monster. I was focused on it. On his, what, on his face that I almost didn't see. The giant first trash trash swimming towards me. I ducked and it just barely missed me. I backed up and it moved forward. I was afraid I could barely move as it began to ready one of, one of its arms to one of its arms to strike me again. I did the only thing I could think of. I turned on my flashlight. It was in night time. I should have mentioned it, it earlier. Sorry. It flinched and screamed in pain. It covered its eyes. I took a chance and I ran. I didn't stop running until I got to the police department. And well, that's all I got. Just to preach and yeah. Damn. Oh god. Pretty pretty freaking scary, bro.
All right, Fazbear Entertainment. Bro, how many passports are you? You can like Josh. Fazbear Entertainment Security Archive. What the fuck? Fasper Warehouse. Rated. Rated E for everyone. Yeah, I can't Hold up. Alright, I figured out the password. Oh no no. Right. Division. There we go, right? Alright. Alright, that actually kinda looks like somebody. It kinda really pretty much like freaking looks like a corrupted bunny. Yeah, cor cor not corrupted bunny. Corrupt corrupted bonnie. Yeah, that's that, that that's that's the person. I said corrupted bonnie. From the corrupted series. <laughs> Alright. Where we I guess we shall wait. The fuck? Alright, on Sunday on on Sunday the eighth, September twenty twenty six at two forty seven AM a break in occurred at Fazbear Entertainment's main storage warehouse located in Redacted. Nevada, upon investigation, <laughs> all security and cleaning staff were either missing on, or, no, not on, or deceased. All recovered bodies show signs of extended corruptions of upwards 25,000 volts of electricity, with their bodies being charred and burned be beyond recognition re with uh, expiration arrived at the complex the entire storage site was no not was site had ex spot experienced a power outage the inspiration that the ins inspection team later found that the the on-site <coughs> on-site generator had punctured in five different spots and experienced an, uh, an overcharge that caused the said blackout. Further investigation showed that storage unit C4AE had been broken into the, the commissioned with an animatronic model SG-3. Sorry, uh, whatever. State Stage Ballora. Alright. And pieces from the commissioned animatronic model SG-2 Stagger of Foxy were missing. Remarkment tra trackers dictate dictated signature. Yeah. And yeah, I'll probably read it a lot more later. Well, let's finish reading this actually. I'm kind of having fun. Broken into the commissioned animatronics SG-2 and pieces from the commissioned. Model SG2 Standard Foxy on site but has believed subject A2 and A4 have separated from the remarkment, uh, escaped, and broke warehouse to attention a new animatronic body to inhabit. Curiously, at the the same time of the incident, an unknown third party. Corrupted the security footage. The only remaining tacked content inside the folder where CCTV recordings were kept was a text folder containing the word LOL. LOL, whatever. The leading series, it, it was during the break, new warehouse systems were subjected to a cyber attack internal investigation slash multiple server wide scans for viruses and of sabotages across all the sites 
of Fazbear Entertainment Secure Network, but the results were null. It was unknown who or what was behind the cyber attack, and whatever it is connected to the break in any way. Just giving friends a little helping hand. Oh, frick. All right. So yeah, guys. Uh, this is it. It's the video. Uh, I'm gonna see you sooner or later, I guess. Um, yeah. Bye. Have a great day. And yeah. See you on the next one tomorrow, I guess. All right. So yeah, I gotta not these two, these three here or four. All right. Goodbye, guys. Uh, and e goodbye and have a great day, I guess. I gotta go to class now. All right. Goodbye. E.